Yeah, sure. Here. Um, you know, a couple times in this game, whether it was them almost going up two scores, LeVert gets a pick, or they miss a kick, you were one play away from being in serious trouble. I mean, it's, what is the lesson you take from that and knowing that with this team over the bye week? Yeah. Well, first, uh, like I told the team, I mean, that's how you fight. That's how you, that's how you uh, scratch and claw, and uh, both teams did that. I was very impressed with both both squads, um, but our team, the way uh, their the way they hung in there, and they had their courage, their resilience, you know, their their sharpness of mind, um, thought that that seems to be at a, at a little bit higher level this year with this ball club, and happy about that. It's, uh, sometimes you got to fight like that. Football fight. Can you talk about the defense finding a way on that last series and especially the last play? Yeah, I, I can talk about the defense uh, and their play the entire game. That was a, a gem of a defensive performance. And there's no doubt about it. Uh, talk about the last play, the last series, um, you know, just the entire football game. We, we, we made mistakes offensively, penalties and, and turnovers and, and uh, turnovers on downs that uh, you know, the, the defense was not in the best positions, but uh, they played great. I mean, the, the, the interception on the goal line was huge. That was a big play in the game. Andy Hutchinson, sack, last play of the game, uh, huge, cause of the turnover. And, um, it was a really great play. Josh Uche you know, really had a, had a had a great game. They may not show up on the, uh, the stat line because uh, there was a, there was a lot of times where he was he was knocking people back. You know, wasn't getting paid for it. Somebody else was making the tackle, but, but he was uh, he was doing a great job. Quiddy Pay I thought had an excellent game as well, uh, and Carlo Kemp. You know, had some big stops in the middle. This is um, Josh Rossbaugh I and mean, Josh Metellus uh, played really well. There's a lot of a lot of guys that just just played great. Don Brown did a great job preparing. Uh, called a great game. Called a great play on the last great defense on the last play of the game. And uh, got home. Got the turnover. Got the win. Last year, Larry, uh, on the fake punt was the false start on purpose to help set it up, or did you just work out that way and you just reflect on that play on the field? No, the, um, on the false start, uh, yeah, we 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 saw what uh, what punt coverage they were in, what punt, punt block they were in, and and uh, called the alert for the next the next play. They they ran the same. So same, that, same. make that call till after the penalty? So to answer your question, no. The false start was not on purpose. And you were going to punt it if you didn't false start, correct? Correct. Steve? Aiden Hutchinson seems to be playing like it hadn't been a long game, that it hadn't been a hot day, and that, that last possession he had a two-yard loss, and then he had a big tackle. Talk about what you got from him. And he was carrying a ball around. Did you give him the game ball? Or? Uh, I mean, he just kept it from the, from the last play of the game, possibly. Uh, but I didn't see him carry the ball. Yeah, it was just a great performance by him. Um, and, and all the other guys that I mentioned, you know. Was, uh, but you're right. I mean, it didn't, he, he had very sweated through his entire uniform and uh, looked like he just played a football game. It was, it was a heck of a fight and, and uh, really contributed to the, the victory. So very proud of him. Big hug afterwards. Left, Casey. Um, Jake, um, did, has, we saw a lot of Jake out there today, and I think we saw both kickers out there with Jake and Quinn. Is the battle still going on, or are you, uh, or is someone won that? We were still yeah. alternating today. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, big, big kick by Jake Moody there uh, in the overtime. You know, big cl cl clutch kick in the second overtime. But, there's a difference in the game. Adam, hey Jim, some of the uh, mistakes on offense, how much of that could be attributed to a new system or, or not in your mind? Um, well, um, first one, the first fumble, 
Yeah, just we uh, we missed a protection. The, the backs were so good last week in the, in the pass protection, and, and this week uh, we missed a protection on that up the middle. Uh, got that one chalked on the sideline, and then Shea got loose with the ball, and then uh, that caused that fumble. That was the first one. Uh, Shea's second fumble. They came with a corner blitz, and our, our running back didn't see it and uh, got stripped. <clears throat> um, so I would, I, mean, so, I don't know how, how, how much that is, that's not really new offensive stuff. Um, the, you know, the play where, where Ben uh, fumbled, I think he, I think that fumbled right away. I think he got, got a helmet on the ball. Um, so it was, you know, maybe some more tackling, more live in practice you know, this week with our running backs. Uh, so those those kind of hits, they can, they can have some more practice on that. Um, and that's three of them. Is there uh, is that three? All right, Chris. A couple of things. What was your view of the Metellus return? Is that one that you can't challenge because it was ruled down? Yeah, I was told that I couldn't challenge that. But, that um, and then what went into the decision to go for it on fourth and short rather than kick the field goal there late? Yeah, our, our analytics had it uh, that the, the best thing to do if we got in that situation, fourth and three from that distance, uh, was to go for it. It ended up being fourth and two, and and we didn't uh, we didn't convert. Uh, same with the second one. It was another. So that was a, a fourth and two, and. Fourth and two analytics told us to go for it, and, and uh, we didn't make it again. So, yeah, I mean, I'm. The middle area. Um, Jim, how did it just kind of feel when several promising offensive drives, especially in the first half, were just kind of killed by turnovers? Not good. I didn't feel good. Um, and also, um, what? Why, what led to you guys having such a problem kind of converting short yardage situations like those fourth downs that you mentioned? What led to it? Yeah. Yeah, well, they had a better defense call than we had, a, than, than we executed our offensive play. All right, yeah. <clears throat> Jim, uh, it, you mentioned last week that Shea was a little dinged up. Uh, you guys don't run him much today, none, none of the reads. Pull it. Is that by design? Yeah, he, we ran a couple. Um, he was better. He was better. Um, he um, he was able to work through what he had and uh, felt 100 percent for the game. So are some of those then not quarterback reads that are that are you know some of those inside plays that just didn't get it, like you said, some of the short yardage stuff, or didn't dial those up as much today? Yeah, the the or the or the read was not there for the quarterback to pull it. She obviously had a couple fumbles last week, a couple this week. What was your message to him on the sideline, you know, at halftime or before halftime when you go through all that? Just, you know, how was he doing mentally? What was your message to him? Yeah, I mean, just, he can't get that loose with the ball. No, the, the first one, first one was was his, and uh, the second one was uh, the misprotection with the, with the running back. We have time for a couple more questions. Just back left here, Ethan. Uh, Jim, John Runyon was dressed today and uh, didn't play. Uh, was he ready to go in just case with the starter or uh, not ready? Yeah, we think uh, he was just, John was just really on the verge of being ready to play. Could have played, um, but, you know, there was, um, it looked good in practice, but just felt like, you know, that we would give him another week, you know, make sure it was, this isn't something that's uh season ongoing problem. Can you say whether he'll start after the bye? Can I say that now? Yeah. I mean, most likely. We, he should be, that's why we, we, were, we held him out again this week, so we could, uh, you know, get it fully healed and not put him out there mostly healed. All right, Ryan. And Hayes had a good game, too, uh, from what I could see. Hey, Jack. Uh, from what I saw, uh, Ryan, Ryan did what, had a good game. 
Five. Zach Charbonnet with over 30 carries tonight. Was that more based off what he did last week and what he showed you guys last week or something you can maybe exploit against Army's defense? I just really felt like we had, had to go with uh, and really lean on Zach today. And um, you know, the fumble by the, we had a, Ben fumbled and, and, uh, and we had another that uh, missed the protection and we just felt like we just had to go with Zach. So, um, but you know, more than we wanted to. So this next week, you know, it's going to be something that uh, you know, next two weeks really. I mean, getting that that next back that we can we can get in there and really really trust and play well. Um, and we'll evaluate this week to get a to get another another back in there because that's tough. That's tough, dude. You know, going a going a whole game on a on a hot day. But. Uh, but you got to give the kid a lot of credit. Um, you know, he he rose to the occasion and had to be tired. But uh, did a heck of a job, in my opinion. Last question on the right, Nick. Jim, so, so with that, he gets 30 carries. You guys run the ball quite a bit second like half. 33 carries, wasn't it? 33 carries, yeah. whatever it was. You guys run the ball quite a bit in the second half. You don't have short yardage. Were, were you leaning on the run there due to pass protection issues? Did you not want to? Put the ball in the air in the second half. It just didn't seem like it was as aggressive, maybe as you guys were at times last week. Yeah, I thought our pass protection was really good uh, at times, and we had we had a long time back there in the pocket, and, and uh, some of the big third down conversions were um, were by pass. Uh, Ronnie Bell seemed like every one of his his receptions. I think he had seven for 81 yards. Were were big catches, and. Uh, she had time to throw. I mean, I thought the protection was good in that sense. So you just decided to stick it on, keep it on the ground, though, in the second half. I mean, you didn't, you preferred. To yeah, that was, I mean, that was the play that was called. I mean, I mean, we could we could go every game with the, you know, why didn't you pass when you, you ran and it didn't work, so you should have passed. You know, I mean, we could do this for every game that's ever played in football. Oh, you passed, you should have run. I listen to your podcasts, and you seem to know a lot about football and baseball and basketball and every other game. Don't be so. I mean, come on. It's kind of it's kind of low hanging fruit, Nick. Jim, last week you talked about sprint mode and kind of cleaning some things up offensively. How did you think you guys did this week in doing all that? Um, you know, some some good, not the not as much as you know, not as much as we we would like, um, and. Uh, and keep grinding in that department, but you know, just getting it more well oiled. You know, more, more. Uh, that's it. Yeah, more well oiled. All right. Thanks, coach. Awesome.